welcome uh, our department of our faculty, uh, Dr. Homer, uh, who is uh, from Mexico, uh, from the University of Guantanamo. It's uh, three kilometers far from uh, Cancun, so it's a nice place for maybe for next conference. As I spoke with Loma, so it's possible to arrange the conference in Cancun. So it's a challenge for us. And uh, Homer will speak about close parameters for the subs for traffic, so it is which is very close to the area that is sold in our team. So please, Homer, one hour. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Homero Doral Cruz. I am a research professor of the University of Quintana Roo, Mexico, in the Department of Science and Engineering. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to uh, give this, this lecture, and I really appreciate the opportunity the University of Strava gives me. Um, my lecture is entitled Quality of Service Parameter Modeling of Self Similar Voice of Electric Traffic. The outline of this lecture is the following Introduction, Basic Concepts and Mathematical Backgrounds, Voice of Electric Traffic Measurements. Voice over IP digital modeling and relationships, pattern dust modeling on voice over IP traffic, conclusion, and future works. Introduction. In telecommunication networks, there are many networks. Uh, in this lecture, two of them are studied. And the public switch telephone networks and the IP network. Uh, such networks um, is designed for a simple goal. Uh, transmit and specific information for a specific traffic. Uh, in the public switch telephone networks, uh, the terminal device is a simple telephone set, while uh, the more complex is the network. And is able to provide uh, complex function or complex voice, voice function. And on the other hand, in the IP networks, the more intelligence are placed in the terminals. Uh, because common is common the terminal uh, a host computer while uh, the network offers the offers the best effort service. And in the middle of 19, the two separate networks start to converge. And as a result of this convergence, we have the union of voice and data traffic. And as a result of this convergence, a new technical challenge is present because the conversion network is the IP network and offers uh, the best effort service and the quality of service is not quality uh, for some application and many, many multimedia applications such as voice over IP demands specific quality of service levels. Um, for voice over IP, the main quality of service parameters are uh, bandwidth, packet loss rate, jitter, um, code type, uh, the jitter buffer size, etc. The quality of service is one of the most important subjects in the IP network technologies. And is a complex subject 
that demand a specific concept or mathematical concepts such as probability, uh, theory, and stochastic process. And in this figure, I provide one network, one end-to-end -end network, and the quality perception from two points, the end user, the network, and the application. And from the viewpoint of the end user, the quality of service is the end user perception of the quality that he perceived received from the network from a specific application. And this perception can be evaluated by means subject, subjective and objective tests, such as mean opinion score and E model. And this, these two models uh, has as input the network impediments, such as one-way delay, jitter, packet load rate, and coded time. From the viewpoint of the network, the quality of service refers to the capability, to the network capability to provide some levels of quality of service. The quality of service mechanism is able to provide some levels of quality of service. The main quality of service mechanisms are integration service and differential differential service. And this me mechanism uh, provide uh, certain levels of quality of service and low values of one-way delay, GT, and packet loss rate. From the viewpoint of the application, the quality of service refers to the application capability to reconfigure some parameters in order to meet some goods of quality of service levels. The main uh, quality of service parameters that we reconfigure are voice data length, codec type, size of forward error correction redundancy, the jitter buffer size, and if we see we an application with reconfigurable parameters and quality of service mechanisms, this involves uh, measurements, modeling, simulation, and performance evaluation. Why study voice over IP? Uh, voice over IP is one of the most interesting applications in the telecommunication network and is available in many IP network carriers in the world. And there is an extensive amount of words oriented to the studies of internet. The internet research literature contains many analyses of data traffic measurements. In comparison with the voice over IP, there are, in voice over IP, there are very few studies in the literature that report the analysis of voice over IP data trace captured on operational links of the internet backbones. Such studies are needed in order to build accurate modeling of voice over IP traffic, which are the basis for the designs of voice over IP application, network engineering, and performance evaluation. The quality of service levels of voice over IP application depends on many parameters and are related to each other and affect the voice quality. One of the, most, the main tools for evaluating the voice quality is the e-model. However, the e-model does not consider the impairment caused, caused by the cheater and packet loss board fees. 
Um, some studies of data traffic have shown that IP traffic exhibit self-similar analysis, heavy tail behaviors, and present multi multifractal behavior. The bucket loss is bursty in nature and exhibits finite temporal dependency. Okay, the, the objective of this lecture are establish theoretical relationships between some performance metrics or qualities of service parameters. That allow evaluate the quality of service of voice over IP application. This is the main objective of these theoretical relationships and models. And to present a detailed characterization and suitable modeling of two of the most important parameters, such as jitter and packet loss of voice over IP by means of network measurements. To present a methodology for simulating packet loss on voice jitter data trace with particular power probability density function. Uh, what is the basic concept for studying these proposed models and these relationships? GTEC, when the packets are transmitted from uh, a source to destination through the internet, this experience uh, variable delays. This variable delays is called as jitter. Let the SK, the time stamp for the packet K, and RK, the time stamp for the packet for the same packet. Now. One way delay for the packet K is expressed by the difference between FK and SK. Now for packet K minus one, the one way delay is expressed by the difference between FK minus one minus SK minus one. So, the jitter or the, the other level, the one way delay jitter is expressed by the difference for one way delay of the packet K and one way delay of the packet K minus one. After some algebraic, algebraic manipulation, We can express the jitter as function of the interarrival time and interdepartial time. And the final, the final model for jitter used in this study is expressed by the following equation, where interdepartial time is a constant and the random variable is jk, where jk uh, captures the dynamical of the network. OK, uh, when, when, when the boss, when the packet loss study, one of the most uh, common distribution for the packet loss is the Bernoulli distribution or homogeneous packet loss. Uh, however, the, the packet loss the packet loss in the real network is not homogeneous. The packet loss occurs 
in bursty events. Now, we can model, model the packet loss by means the Markov chains. The more simple Markov chains is two state Markov chains. In this model, one state represents the packet loss. In this case, is one represent the, when the packet is lost. And the other state, S sub index two, represent the case where packet are received. And the transition probability in this model are represented for only two parameters. When T21 is the process to go between found packet to lost packet. And the transition probability P12 represents the probability to go of lost and found state. Different values of P21 and P12 representing the different, different packet loss and network condition that can occur on the internet. Now, if we take on more accurate modeling, we need more uh, on a on a Markov chain with with more state. Uh, this this process, this Markov process, uh, can be sent by two two uh, two Markov chain of two states. Uh, for this for this Markov chain model, uh, we have two states, bad state and good state. Uh, because in the internet, the packet loss occurs or is, is bursty when, when we have a burst, a burst or many packets are lost uh, consecutively, we use the bad state. The bad state, it has a higher than probability of packet loss, while the good state represents low probability of packet loss. The bad state we evaluate by means this equation, and the good state is evaluated by the other equation. The steel state probability of the gene in a state good or bad are expressed by this equation, by this equation. The overall packet loss for the four state Markov chains is modeling by this equation where, pack, where PLU is the packet loss rate for all Markov chain. Okay, uh, some relationships we found between packet loss and jitter. Um, generally, the successive voice packet are transmitted at constant bit rate. I.e., if we use the voice data length of 10 milliseconds, 20 milliseconds, etc., uh, the voice packet are transmitted at one packet by 10 milliseconds, one packet by 20 milliseconds, respectively. When voice packets are transported over IP network, they might experience delay variation and packet loss. Packet loss 
In this study, we found that the packet loss has serious implication on the voice over IP, voice over IP jitter. And we found a simple mathematical expression that represents this implication. For example, let inter arrival time the main model of jitter used in this analysis. If the packet k minus 1 is lost, this equation is modified by this one. And the important of this, of this equation is the impact of packet loss is captured in this, in this term. In general, if any, if n consecutive packets are lost, then the jitter is expressed by this equation, where n plus 1 is the number of consecutive packets lost. In this figure, uh, uh, we represent the jitter of a data trace, of a real data trace, where the interdepartial time is equal to 16 milliseconds. If any packet, if any packet is lost, the values of jitter is close to 60 milliseconds. Now, if one packet is lost, if one packet is lost, the values of jitter is around to 120 milliseconds. Now, if two pack, if two consecutive packets are lost, the values of jitter is around 118 milliseconds. This is the behavior of a real data trace, of a communication where the packet size is 16 milliseconds. And this behavior can be captured by this, by this equation. And this equation let us uh, simulate simulate packet loss over one jitter delta trace. Now we can uh, represent various scenarios. If, for example, I need uh, evaluate the behavior of jitter. And I need to, the packet loss uh, will be uh, 1%. By means Markov chains, we can generate a packet loss vector with 1, 1%, and I applied in the jitter data trace and this this jitter data trace uh, present the main characteristic the one percent and I can analyze by different mathematical tools for example as self-similar as heavy tail behaviors and entropy and many many mathematical tools Now, the quality of service assessment, any user perception of quality of service is determined by subjective or objective testing as a function of network environment. And the subject, the subjective measure, measure of voice quality, the more used is the mean score, 
and for objective measure of voice quality is the e model. Now, in the mean opinion score, uh, the mean opinion score requires that some people apprise the general quality of voice samples submit to vocoders, and this numerical method is based on averaging the score provided by many listeners where the score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 implied bad, poor, fine, good, and excellent rating respectively. Although the method seems very clear to mean opinion score, the, the mean opinion score grading is hard procedure to be performed and objective methods have been developed and implemented to estimate this puntuation for communication system employing over voice over IP technology. Okay, the E model is a computational model designed to produce the mean opinion score without conducting objective testing. The subject testing is practical because it is time consuming and it's very difficult to estimate. In the E model, the effects of delay, packet loss, codec type are combined in the transmission rating factor that varies from 0 to 19.3.2. Now, uh, for the E model, uh, we need the following input, codec, packet loss rate, and delay. And the following equation can be used to determine the error factor and the error factor uh, we can to map to the mean opinion score by this equation. Okay, uh, on the other hand, the voice over IP traffic or the uh, in the voice over traffic traffic nature, the model investigation of traffic measurements suggest that the network traffic exhibits self-similar behavior and heavy tail distribution. The fact that network traffic often shows self-similar means that it shows noticeable rules at wide range of time scales. The main characteristic of the random variable of having a heavy tail behavior uh, is that it exhibits extreme variability. Okay, uh, the traffic process are said to be self-similar if self time property of the process are presented respect to scanning, space, or time. For example, if we plot um, 100 seconds of traffic and we take only 10 seconds and expand in the scale, scale 1 from 10, we can observe similar behavior. The bursting is preserved at different time scales or space. An attractive property of the self-similar process for modeling a time sharing is that the degree of self-similarity is expressed by a simple parameter. And this simple parameter is called the horse parameter. This parameter expresses the speed of the K of the autocorrelation function of the time series. A discrete time series, a stochastic process, or time series XT, is self-similar with self-similar parameter between 0 and 1 if satisfies this equation, where XT is the original time series, and AXK upper M is the aggregate process and M is the aggregation level and H is the horse parameter where 
this expression denote equality in distribution. Okay, and the phenomenon of scale variance is defined by the aggregation levels. Let x t at times a discrete time series. The aggregate process is obtained by the average of window of the size M. For example, for this for this aggregation process, M is equal to 4. Then the new time series is obtained by this by this process. Okay, the process XT is called exactly second order subsimilar with host parameter H if the variance and covariance function is expressed by this equation, where this, this expression is, is used to estimate the H parameters. Where this, if, if we plot the log log, uh, this is a strand line where M is the slope of the strand line. The following expression are simple facts regarding the values of H and its impact on covariance function. When the covariance function is equal to zero, the process is uncorrelated. H is equal to 0.5. Now, when the covariance function is less than zero, the process is said short range dependence and the A cost parameters are between 0 and 0.5. Now, when the, when, when the covariance function are greater than 0, the process is said long range dependence and the cost parameter is between 0 0.5 and 1. Uh, for for uh, accomplish the multifractal behavior, we use a decomposition of the time series. Let xt denote the above discrete time series with finite variance this time series can be expressed by this expression, where C are called the component, and these components can be can be uh, expressed by the difference of the new time series xt. Uh, the, in, when the after after two process aggregation of level M and expansion of level N. Now uh, X K N is similar to the other function is the aggregate series and the expand series is obtained but repeat each aggregate series uh, m times m times is is the level of aggregation now the components c subindex xt have three important properties 
they synthesize the original time series without loss. They are pairwise orthogonal, and in the inner product is equal to zero. And next thing is exactly self-similar, then the variance of the components comply this equation. And by mean this equation, we can estimate the horse parameters. And we can see this equation is similar to the second order self-similar process. Now, the plot log log of the components uh, versus I is equivalent to the wavelength based diagram proposed, proposed by Ali and Beige. And this, this diagram proposed by Ali is called log scale diagram, where the variance of the components is equal to any diagram. Okay. On the other hand, the habitat behaviors. Uh, a distribution with habitat behaviors, a random variable x has a habitat behavior if complied with this equation. One family of the habitat behaviors is the alpha standard distribution. A random variable x is said to have an alpha-stable distribution if there are the following parameters. Alpha between 0 and 2. A larger than 2. Beta between minus 1 and 1. And V belong to the real numbers. Such that its characteristic function has the following form where alpha is the stability index, beta the skewness parameter, and a the scaling parameter, and b the shift parameters. And for, for accomplish this analysis, we, we need uh, measurements and our measurement were established by the following characteristic H323 architecture, different real scenarios, the traffic patterns of real time protocol packets of data trains were collected between two. Local area networks interconnected by the internet. The test calls were generated by a voice over IP hardware application. The capture of data trace were realized by network protocol analyzer. In this measurement, we captured more than 150 million of voice packets by means of the two main codecs, different voice data lengths, and simultaneous test calls with different configuration sets. Okay, voice over IP digital modeling and relationships. Okay, uh, we compute the horse parameter for seven different aggregation levels. The methods used are RS statistic, absolute moment, variance method, modifying all variance, Periodogram and local widow. Uh, in this figure, we present the values of horse parameters for representative jitter data trace, and we can see with the values of the jitter is lower than. 0.5. This result confirmed with the jitter data trace exhibit 
self similar characteristics characteristics uh, with short range depends. For extend this analysis, we study the covariance function and we can observe uh, the, the match with the digital measurements and the ideal model. And we can observe the, the covariance function, the chi, so, uh, very fast, very fast. And this is the effect of the short range dependent. Okay, for the other, for the other sets of voice over IP jitter, we can observe uh, that the host parameters is greater than 0 0.5 and this behavior ex expresses that the, the GTEC data trace exhibit self-similar with long range dependence and for for extend the analysis, we study the autocovariance function where the red line is the theoretical model and the blue line is the measurement of the real time series. And we can observe that the autocovariance function, the kind slowly with respect to the short range dependence. Now, uh, by means the component behaviors for the, the composition proposal, we can plot the different components for a specific jitter data trace and we found the following. For the set of cheated data trace with short range dependence, the component behaviors can be modeled by means one strand line. On the other hand, for the set of cheated data trace, with short, short range dependence, the component behaviors is not possible modeling by one strand line. This, this behavior can be modeled by, by means two scale parameters. Two scale parameters. The first scale parameter is with h lower than 0.5 and the second scale parameter is greater than 0.5. Okay. The other analysis for the jitter data trace is the heavy tail approximation. We found that there is evidence of chemical behaviors on voice over IP jitter distribution. Uh, this heavy tail behavior uh, we found by means the plot for the CCDF and we can observe the decays of the tail of this uh, of this jitter data trace. We compare, we compare it with the exponential and we can see that the decay is much more slowly in the case of this jitter data trace. And there are several methods for identifying the heavy tail behaviors in a machine data set. The simplest is to plot the CCDF on a log-log scale and visually inspect 
a triangle line, such as the blue, the blue line would represent the jitter measurement. Okay, in order to evaluate if a given set of empirical data trace follows a particular distribution, the probability probability plot is used. The empirical distribution of voice over, jit of voice over IP jitter are compared with alpha, stable, Laplace, and the student distribution. And we can observe that alpha stable distribution give the best of good to fist. We can observe the reference with the red line is the alpha stable distribution and gives the best goodness of fit for alpha stable distribution. Okay. The other relationships between quality of service parameters are found by means packet loss rest, right? Versus mean opinion spot. In this figure, we distinguish two regions of quality of service. When the packet loss rate is larger than 0.75, the mean opinion score reports a poor quality communication. Now, when the packet loss rate is less than 0.75%, the mean opinion score reports good communication. Each point each point represents the packet loss rate versus mean opinion score of each communication. Each point, if for each communication, and in this communication, we estimate the packet loss rate and mean opinion score. And this relationship can be used for determine that when the packet loss rate is greater than 0.75%, the quality of service is poor. And when the packet loss rate is less than 0.75%, the quality is good. Now, the other interesting, interesting, the other interest, interesting relationship is when we evaluate the course parameter versus mean opinion score. Now, when horse parameter is higher than 0.5% or the process is long range dependence, the mean opinion score report poor quality. Why? When the age, when the horse parameter is less than 0.5% for 0.5, and if the process is Short range dependence. The quality of the communication is good. Then, the cost parameter can be used to determine the quality of service. When the process is long range dependence, the quality of service is poor. And when the process is short range dependence, the quality is good. Okay. Packet loss modeling of voice over IP traffic. Okay, in this work, 
we use a packet loss description for voice over IP based on narrow and wide time windows. The packet loss behavior of the narrow time window is called microscopic behavior. And the packet loss behavior of a wide time window is called macroscopic behavior. Now, when we have a communication, uh, in the communication, if we study different windows in the communication, we found different levels of packet loss rate. Each window is called microscopic behavior. The, the E model only consider the general the general packet loss rate. Now if as the the packet loss rate in the internet is bursting, we can modeling this bursiness by means different windows present different levels of packet loss rate. Now each Windows behavior, we can model it by a two-state Markov chain. Now, if we can model it all communication with different microscopic behaviors, we need a Markov chain with a higher states. For example, four state is a good model for this for these issues. Now, uh, in, in the real traffic, we can observe the, the, bursting it, the bursiness as following, as following picture. Um, the packet loss rate can be modeled by means uh, and binar vector. And when the packet is lost, it takes the one, the value of one. And when the packet are found, is zero. Okay, and the methodology for simulation packet loss, uh, we present a new methodology for simulation packet loss on voice over IP jitter that trace based on the relationship between packet loss rate and jitter the packet loss description of voice over IP based on macroscopic and microscopic behavior a given data trace can be seen as a concatenation of microscopic periods together forming a particular particular macroscopic period. Okay. The microscopic behavior may be represented by a simple two-state Markov chain. The voice of an IP cheater data trace can be properly modeled by means of the self-similar process and the heavy tail distribution. Now, let X be a voice over IP jitter data trace with length N, self similar, alpha stable distribution, and with a packet loss rate near to zero. We generate packet loss patterns P by means of two state Markov chain, where P, T, is equal to 1 means a packet loss and p sub index t equal to 0 means 
a received packet. And W by N is the length of the packet loss pattern. Now we apply it J different packet loss patterns over a time window of size W by N. When W W is equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 2, 1. And X was obtained the new new time series x sub index w and x upper index j. Now the relationship between g theta and packet loss is used to apply the packet loss patterns by this equation. Okay, uh, the simulation packet loss by Markov chains is accomplished by by following for different windows or different uh, different microscopic behaviors we generate different packet loss patterns with various packet loss rate now the relationships between packet loss rate and host parameters it illustrates by this figure where the solid lines represent the simulation packet loss with the respective host parameters. The main characteristic of this model is for the same packet loss rate we can observe different levels of host parameters and this this model can be used to improve the e model if we introduce the host parameters in the e model we can capture the burstiness of packet loss. Now, in this relationship, we this relationship is observed by means a real time series where the yellow the yellow line is a set of jitter data trace where after evaluate the packet loss rate and the horse parameters and the others the other colors lines are the simulation packet loss rate with your respective horse parameters Now, for this relationship, we found that when the size windows is equal to 0.4, this model, uh, this uh, we obtain the best of fit of this model. Now, uh, we study the relationship between packet loss rate and alpha stable parameters and we can see this relationship uh, follow the the power law function but for different windows the alpha parameter is the same and this model do not capture the effect of the packet loss boards. Okay, um, the proposed models, we found that the relationship between horse parameters, alpha parameter with packet loss rate, can be modeled by this power law function. 
where h is the host parameter of the model and p and q is the packet loss rate. And the other relationship is between alpha and packet loss rate. Okay, conclusions. From our analysis, we propose that voice over IPG term of our measurement can be properly modeled by means of self-similar process and alpha stable distribution. And we present a methodology for simulating packet loss and voice over IPG term data trace. Based on the present methodology, we found relationship between the host parameters, alpha parameter and packet loss rate. And these relationships can be modeled by means of a power law function with three fitted parameters. The simulation results show the effectiveness of our model in terms of the mean square error. Okay, the other uh, relationship we found too when the GTR exhibit short range dependence, the quality of service is good for the for the data trace. And when the horse parameters is greater than 0.5 or long range dependence, the quality of service is poor. Future works. Okay. Uh, based on the voice of an LPG term models, self similar and a stable distribution, previously proposed can be properly designed at the GTEL buffer size of voice over IP. Can be implemented as synthetic generator in order to be used a test vector generator to prove the effective of a GTEL buffer where this test vector generator can be implemented via software or hardware. Based on the power law model, we can introduce the host parameter in the e-model in order to enhance, enhance it because this parameter captures the dynamical behavior of the bursty packet loss. Okay, thank you for your attention. Uh, any question, please? The, the main idea of enhancing the e-model is by means the host parameter because we found uh, that the relationship between packet loss rate and host parameters uh, follow 
or is modeled by means a power law function. This power law function is the relationship between packet loss rate and the host parameters. Now, if we analyze um, a communication with 4% loss, the e model identify the same quality of service. If, if we use the same uh, delay and codec time, when I evaluate the quality of service of the communication for 4%, the model is done, done able to see the dynamic behavior of burstiness. W is the degree of burstiness for our model. Uh, and when W is 0.1, the burstiness is very high. And when the W is 1, is homogeneous packet loss. Homogeneous because it is distributed over all communication. Now, if we take only 10% of the communication and in this 10% we introduce 4%, the degradation and maybe is, is more um, is is mm, is uh, the degradation is is higher is higher the degradation because uh, the packet loss is concentrated in only one in uh, little windows. Now the horse parameter is able to capture this this effect because. For example, uh, when W is 0.1, the host parameter is larger than 2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and the fall. Then if we introduce this, this parameter in the e-model, and let me, this, In the classic model, for different bursiness, we obtain this, this function. Now, for the new model, the new model, if the bursiness is different, the error factor changes. Okay. So, and may I ask you to set this presentation? The main question. And uh, the second, uh, and I have the uh, next question. Uh, the second one is that uh, have you evaluated the codex with packet loss consumer? Because okay. if the packet loss consumer is involved, maybe the behavior of the evaluation will be a little bit different. Okay. Have you evaluated the codex with packet loss consumer? Because I noticed that there was a G711. And uh, you should uh, include the appendix uh, uh, one yeah, for this for this evaluation. Or okay. Apply this this, yeah, this packet loss concealment. These are uh, there, there are several approaches, and the last one uh, uh, is using the Markov model, uh, high, uh, hidden Markov models. Yeah. So the question is, if the packet, if the codex with packet loss concealment. 
uh, have been evaluated in your... Uh, it is, don't consider the fact that it's not is And the last question, uh, it uh, regards fiber codes, because I noticed that you use only Nero band codes, but there are, uh, for example, G722.1, uh, or uh, adaptive material environment code, uh, which is uh, used in mobile networks now in, in uh, UMT and uh, OT. So, the, what about the wider for, for this story, uh, only use yeah. like two to my colleagues the G729 uh, and G711. Uh, it's only the 711 and 729. Okay. Two points. And yes, I understand. And with this model, okay, this, with this model, this is our model. It's the relationship between host parameter and packet loss rate. We use this packet loss rate. There is a use of uh, the codec base on IMBC, and they have the really very high robustness resistance against the packets. Yeah. Okay. And for example, in Skype, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, use the codec uh, Silk with 12 kilohertz band. So nowadays, I think that uh, this, this, uh, this codec, so the wider codec, is necessary to way. In this model as well. And unfortunately, model there is only one vibrant codec, it's a G722. Okay. For our and the enhanced e model, yeah. we propose this new equation. Mm -hmm. We introduce the horse parameters, and this is the, the interest for our investigation because we we introduce the host parameters in the E model for G7 mm -hmm. yeah. and G729. Yes. And okay. Only these two codecs. Okay. okay. And this is the result of evaluate the classical model and or new model. And when the in our model, when W is 1, is the same behavior of the classical model. And this, uh, this, this is valid or model because it's applied for the classical model and when the host parameter was introduced. When the when the packet loss is over a white windows, the degradation is is highest because the air factor here is more slow. This is this is uh, the the application of the relationship between force parameters packet loss rate and for Study this this relationship. We use the Markov chains for uh, simulate different condition of packet loss in real time traffic. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any question? So, it's okay. so. Thank you very much.